I just had some good news. What's I'm the good news? <laughs> On our way to get to Sakyant Tattoo, Eloise is slightly nervous. Um, so am I a little bit. I haven't picked what I want yet. There's oh, like no. 10 different things that I want. And, um, and I'm nervous I'm going to make the wrong decision. So I think. Well, I think if we go there and ask them, then I'm they'll be able to guide hoping, you. you know? I'm hoping that they'll give me the guidance and then I'll feel satisfied doing it. But I'm just a bit unsure right now. I'm going to get the five lines, so I'm getting the five lines, and then, and then, yeah, see you there. The Sakyant Master, or Ajahn, carefully places the sensor of my chosen design onto my back. Eloise took a photo so I could check that I liked the placement, then the Ajahn prepares to start the tattoo. Unlike traditional bamboo sticks, he uses a modernised steel needle with a replaceable tip. This maintains the authenticity while ensuring proper safety and hygiene standards. I chose the Ha Te with the crown design, otherwise known as the five lines. This design orientates over 700 years ago to the ancient kingdoms of Lanana which is known as Northern Thailand. Each of the five lines represents a different magical spell with unique powers and protections. Eloise presents an offering, a gesture of respect and gratitude to the Ajahn. The offering consists of a small package of flowers, incense and some cigarettes. The staff helped by telling us when to kneel down with the offering and how to represent during the entire process. Eloise chose the Hat Jasetti design, which is believed to invoke protection and good fortune. We loved how each intricate detail of the t tattoos carries a deeper meaning. After the tattoo is finished, the Ajahn starts the final blessing. This is century old tradition where the Sakyant master seals the tattoo with sacred prayers and becomes complete with the desired intention. We've made it, we're alive, we're back. We finished, we finished our Sakyant experience. How did you find it? Oh, ah! <laughs> <laughs> She's just put her hand straight on my tattoo. So oh, yeah. that's, it looks great. It looks great. But it looked great, yeah. No, it was so lovely, wasn't it, babe? It yeah, was amazing. The staff were great there. Um, we spoke to a few few different people there, but everyone was so nice within the second. They have the people who help you to choose, and their English is so good, and they're kind of explaining every part of it to you. Like we both had to kind of hold each other's skin tight, didn't we? <laughs> to like, because it helped with the pain, which was like, which was really nice actually. It made me feel a bit less like. Does, it does hurt a little bit, but you know, ultimately, I'm so happy with how it's turned out and the experience, and um, yeah, everything really. So, thank you, uh, Chiang Mai Sakyan. Sakyan Chiang Mai. Yeah, I've got like some blessed bracelets, and I've got some beads as well, and then they even give you the aftercare and kind of explain and um, yeah, you know, it, we've got some incenses and candles so that we can. Like that, and yeah, we can reflect on the meaning behind our second at a point in the future. And you would do that at home or in a temple, they said. I'm still undecided whether I'm going to get any more, but at the moment, I'm definitely uh, leaning towards yes. Three weeks later. Let's get it. Uh. 
I'm getting the Nine Peaks tattoo, which represents the nine sacred mountains of Mount Tamir. The nine spires are said to point towards Buddha, which reminds you to lead a spiritual life as well as providing maximum protection. This tattoo cost me 3,000 baht, which is roughly 70 pound. We booked our appointment on the Sakyan Chiang Mai website beforehand, where we put down a 1,000 baht deposit each which is around 23 pounds. I have the second Sakyan tattoo. Do you want um, to Feeling blessed right now. But yeah, I think that was good. It was a good experience. Yeah, I'm really happy with it. And uh, yeah, so thankful to find this place as well. What, what a place to get a tattoo. I know, it's amazing. Yeah. I'm jealous, I want another one. <laughs> Why would I book in with one? When we leave on Wednesday, there might be a third instalment. <laughs> a few moments later. I've just had some good news. I'm the getting good a new tattoo. <laughs> I wanted one after banquet, and they just text me say they've got cancellation. So I like this one, but I like the lotus flower. Can I get the lotus? Eloise chose the five lines with the golden lotus flower in the middle. In addition to the five prayers from the five lines design, the lotus is believed to attract luck as well as being helpful for negotiations. Her tattoo was priced at 2,800 baht, which is a little more than 65 pound. After getting our tattoos, the staff advised us on how to look after them properly to avoid infection and the ink bleeding. We were advised to avoid water, soap and direct sunlight for at least three days, as well as avoiding exercise or stretching which may cause ink bleeding. They also let us know to keep it clean and apply antiseptic healing cream for seven days, which they sell at the shop. This is because we were not yet accustomed to the pathogens and bacteria in a new country so we needed to be extra careful to prevent infection. They also sell a tattoo soap there to use instead of the antiseptic cream if you have been in Thailand for over 30 days and are already accustomed to the bacteria in the water here. Okay, so Eloise has uh, just finished her sakyan after they managed to fit us in at last minute, minute notice. How was it? It was it was a little bit more sore today to be fair. It went on for longer than the last one, but I'm so happy with it. It's so nice. It looks amazing. It's so good. The lotus it's exactly what I wanted. I the lotus flower is so different to the writing, but the detail, level of detail he went into it is incredible. I know. So. It's so lovely. Yeah. I love it, I'm so happy. And I feel like I've been blessed now for the rest of our time. So yeah. For all the fans. <laughs> anyway, onwards and upwards. Let's go. <laughs>